I was sent some fan fiction the other day and a paragraph in, it was just such filth <laughs> that I thought, I'll read this when I get off the bus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, tread, tread so carefully, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I beg you. <laughs> I'm not falling for that trap. B <laughs> you think you're slick, don't you? You think you're smart. Okay, so the reason we're all here is because of y'all. So I'm only going to ask one question, and then, it, then it's your turn. But here's, here's my very important question. So, you know, we have Blackbeard's Bar and Grill and other delicacies and delights and fishing equipment. If your characters each had a business, what would it be? And what would it be called? And uh, I have an. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I think Izzy would have a leather store. Wow. And it would be called Izzy Stands. <laughs> what would Lu I think Lucius would run a gossip column. <laughs> and it'd be called like, like, like loose lips, but spelled L-U. Um, oh God. I think Wee John would be like a firefighter in reverse, where he comes and sets fire to your house. So, <laughs> that all fits. Six, 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 guys. Love it. No, I was going to say, because Lucia's yeah, like dark, made for... Dark. Lucius is made for giving advice. Like a, like a gossip column, great, but could you imagine a love column, like a love advice column? Lucius mm, would. Mm, and like every it. advice would just be dumping. <laughs> All right, uh, over here on this side, please tell us your name and your question. Yes. Uh, my name is Jaws, and my question is, uh, you'll be spending a lot more time in New Zealand, AKA Aotearoa. Uh, what are you looking forward to doing while you're there? Nathan. <laughs> I'm not falling for that trap, bitch. You think you're slick, don't you? You think you're smart. Meow! <laughs> if you were going to New Zealand, what would you like to do? I guess I don't know. Look at some sheep or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how countries work. I don't know. Um, Con, Christian, please. <laughs> Just looking to see if Nathan's there. I mean, I've, I've actually been to New Zealand before. I'm looking forward to going on Grinder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>! um, <laughs> I'm 11, and I wanted to know if you were, if you could go back in time and tell your 11-year-old self something, what would you tell them? That it's going to be okay. Well, I mean, this, this has gone into a serious question. I am going to answer it seriously because I, I had a particularly hard time when I was a teenager because of how I look and how I'm, you know what I mean, I'm different, which is fine. And that's what I would say, it is fine. Um, being different is your power. Um, I, you hear this all the time, but it's so, it's so, it's not a piece of advice that's it's trite. It is really true. Do not worry what other people think about you. Um, <laughs> And the things that worry you now when you're young, I swear, I mean, I'm not going to swear in front of an 11 group, but um, <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, but then you just don't care about them when you're older. Just, just things are so big. You think the whole world is going to end. Honestly, so when you look back, you're like, really? It's just, it doesn't matter. Just be who you are and don't worry about it. So I wanted to know what's been your favorite thing about the fan reaction or favorite moment? Something like that. I mean, it has been like the very, for me personally, like the very earnest support from the fans. Like, I'm a, like a comedian and I'm, I don't do earnestness very well. <laughs> so it's actually been very sweet to just like at the cons and when people, you know, come up to us in public or whatever, it's been very nice just to like very sincerely and earnestly engage with people because I tend to just like make jokes all the time and here I go oh my god um, no but I just make a lot of jokes all the time so it's quite nice to just speak to people really earnestly about how much the show means to them that's really cool I like all the porn art one of us 
one of us. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. fan, fan fiction is amazing. Say again? The fan fiction is incredible. I haven't read any of the fan fiction. I mean, How many have been here? It's, uh, I think it's actually better than the, <laughs> the, the real story. It's, I, it's, it's so much fun. I was sent some fan fiction the other day, and a paragraph in, it was just such filth <laughs> that I thought, I'll read this when I get off the bus. Oh, wow. What the most heartbreaking scene to film was? For me, it, it wasn't a scene I was in. I was I was on set and I was due to shoot a scene with Tiger that never got into the show. But I was on set when the two guys filmed the handkerchief on the deck scene. And um, I remember looking at the monitors and watching them film it and seeing the moon backdrop and thinking, "Fuck, this is our show." It's so fun whenever you repost the amazing fan art. Um, what are some situations or scenarios you'd like to see depicted in fan art with your characters? Um, starting with Khan. The... Uh, tread, tread so carefully, Khan. <laughs> I, um, I beg you. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm so nervous! <laughs> Someone, so people are like live tweeting this now. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's anything more I can see than I've already seen. But one thing I would like, I don't think I've ever seen a romantic portrait of Izzy romantically done. And I'd kind of like to see that because there is a tiny part of him at the very bottom of his black soul that is romantic. So, yeah, go for that. Oh, and more abs. Um, I really, I always love when people draw Lucius and Black Pete together. Like when people draw like very sweet, romantic <laughs> pictures of those two. I always think that's so sick. Pictures? I don't know what art is, I suppose. Um, <laughs> But I, uh, I, but I do really like it. I've only seen it a couple of times, but I could stand to see more of it. Is when people like pair Lucius like with other characters, and like, like I've seen pictures of like Lucius like braiding like French's hair and stuff like that. Like I, I think things like that are so sweet because you know he's so kind of like open and poly and like so. I would, I'd like to see more of that, but not necessarily super sexual. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I have to be weirdly careful here too. Uh, I, mean, I think a lot of a lot of fans have read quite into the room people situation between Frenchie and Wee John, and um, would I like to see that develop? What would it mean for me as an actor? <laughs> would I? Would I? Of course he fucking would. Someone, someone, I didn't say it. What about uh, someone? I would love to see a, 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 wee, a wee John, hi, a wee John and Lucius picture. That'd be so nice. Oh, oh yes, guy. They've had worse. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if there were any specific moments of improv that either you did or that another actor did that you thought was really cool in the process of the show. Um. What was my Oh, I, I tell you what I really love. I can't even remember if it's in the show, but the the in episode I sound like I'm obsessed with Joel Fry today, and I am. Um, <laughs> but uh, in in the scene where Lucius is hiding the book, you know, and he the, with the and it's, oh god, it's so funny um, when French he's, creates the divert. You know, he's gonna go over and like grab the book or whatever. I can't remember what he does, and he trips over every single time. Joel did that. He would like say something different. Like he kept being like, "Go, Frenchy," and like would like run or like, "French, it's time to shine," and would like. And, it, and I, me, and me and Matt were like losing our minds laughing. I just thought it was so funny. And the trip he did every time was always go. Oh God, I just I think he's so funny. Yeah. I really uh, loved watching Tyka and Reese do their thing because they've known each other so long. 
that it was just it was just like watching mates riff and it was really moving and touching and very very funny and and that's how you do improv guys well, there was a scene, I think it was in episode one, the montage was in with the, yeah. with the watermelon. I, I don't think this made it into the show. I, haven't, okay, I have a horrible, com- I have a horrible, horrible confession to make. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Kind of homophobic almost. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I, see, I, I don't like just watching Just as well, because you've been cut like out of a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't like watching things with um, either of these two. <laughs> <laughs> You mean you yeah. haven't watched Newark and Newark? No, I have watched that, yes. That's very, very good, I have to say. But um, I, I don't like watching stuff with myself. Anymore. So it would take me a couple of years to get there. Anyway, um, uh, during that scene, I don't know if I made it into it. I didn't, did it? The, the bit where you oh, were the, me. the the peeing. Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. There, there, when I stood up to chop the watermelon, um, there was a reveal of him kneeling behind me, cowering. And he, it sort of made him pee himself. <laughs> And he made this little face of like... It was model zone, so... Um, and every time I looked at you, I couldn't stop laughing. Mm. I'm just really sorry that I didn't make it into the show. Uh, it was, um, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, and very was... impromptu. It was very, like, last minute. It was really fun. 